Okay, this will be a very nice one to work with, hopefully. Hopefully we can get it looking a treat. So let's set this silly piece of conigam and all the shit up. I don't know how big we're going to enlarge this one. We'll soon find out. See what we're going to do with this. Going to take out some of the background for this. Going to add this for some reason. Contrast. We're not going all the way with it. Copy density. We're going to leave it in the middle. Hopefully we can print straight off this original without a master copy. Hopefully it'll look wet. It's actually a, a paper. It's actually a piece of newspaper type print. I think it comes out of a newspaper or something similar. But anyway, this is it. This is our demo on the back. Boring. At least the back of that was boring, but we're going to photocopy this and make a mirror image out of it. So hopefully this will look really good. So we're just going to put it on the glass like that. So hopefully I've cut the edges accurately enough for the job. Right. We've got, got that little bent bit that's going to probably dislodge. Hopefully it won't. Maybe I should have folded it back. We're just going to see how it comes out. I don't know how big we're going to make this. So this will be a challenge. I can't be bothered opening it up because it'll just dislodge. I'm wondering if I should fold it back. I don't know. We're going to make it 100 and... 130 one way we're going to make it 140 along the vertical I don't know how this is going to look we're trying to take pot shots at it see what happens <laughs> I just hope it hasn't slipped out of position because of the bent the bent area that that the dock feeder would have made it. I'm pretty sure it would have slid so let's see if it's slidden it doesn't look like it's gone for a slide, except that area there needs a bit of extra percentage, but it looks good otherwise, very wet. We can just add a little bit of extra along there. But yeah, it still looks good even though we don't, I think we've cut some of it off. Well, let's just see if we can, if we can enlarge it. So the X needs a bit more, so the X will probably not need to be so small. I think it'll, we can make it the same as the Y. So there's no, there'll be no distortion on the X, Y planes. I'm just trying to have a look at the detail to see. I think we've created a bit of background there. Even though, yeah, we're trying to avoid it. I'm wondering if maybe the text enhance is responsible for that. So I'm wondering if maybe we can... Put the text enhance we're just going to put it in the middle i think the rest of that should be right i don't know if it's going to prevent that tiny bit of background happening but i'm pretty sure the background removal might have removed at least some of it so let's see how we go this time with the new enlargement okay let's see how it works let's see how it goes that looks a lot better yeah and there's still a little bit of background there you can't some of it was enlarged off anyway I think so that's all right I think I wonder if I'm going to add any more background removal or maybe keep keep it at that we don't want to lose the beautiful wet look and the colors so I'm wondering if we're going to I'm wondering we're just going to go straight into it now. I think that's good enough. Okay, that's our second one for the job. And we're just going to line it up, try and touch the edges together to give that as a guide. 
so it's not easy getting it straight and we still have a problem with curling even though this image doesn't have like solid areas of black especially black it's still got a lot of toner on it and it's it's very heavy so now we're just going to set ourselves up for the finishing part the mirror image stage so we're just going to finish up with the mirror image two copies of that I'm sorry folks about the curling I just can't seem to stop it so I'm wondering why there's, there's got to be some reason why it's happening we haven't had rain for a long time and it's still curling so it really is confusing as to why there should be a logical explanation as there always is behind whatever happens in this world but sometimes it's not easy to find the logical reasons so these are our mirrors and hopefully we can line them up adequately to make it look good so this one's in the middle this one i'm nudging because this one's trying to line up these figures it's just like totally have no control over how to line my copies up to make them look well presented for, for the for the youtube and the facebook audience so i'm trying to make these look as good as possible because this is my future a part of my future actually is a lot more to my future than meets the eye but in the meanwhile we're concentrating on trying to do my photocopier art properly but anyway that looks quite nice i think we can call that one quits despite the curling